Hey friends, welcome back to another Challenge Tuesday. If you missed it last week, we went with the uh, Knuckle, sorry, the Rising Fastball only challenge, checking out all the new, uh, newer pitches into the game. Today, we're going to go ahead and try and do the Vulcan changeup only. So we're going to buy the Vulcan changeup and uh, see how this goes. Uh, we're going to also just try to max it out. So we're going to reset all his attributes and then... Um, Put it all into the Vulcan changeup and see what happens. So when you reset the attributes, you know, you get all your points back. So I can literally invest it into anything I want. You see, everything's been reset. We're going to put it mostly all into the Vulcan changeup and see how high we can go. 90, 100, 120, 130, 143. Uh, I'm going to bump that down a little and put a, just a little bit, you know, into control. Uh, since control is still important because if I don't have control, I can't really, you know, choose where to, where to put the pitch. Um, so let's see if we can go ahead and do, maybe do like 140. There we go. And then I, I really want to get at least, okay, we have 92 control, 145 Vulcan change up with the plus five bonus. And for the purposes of this video, we're also just going to, uh, go all in on the skill uh, match just max it out off speed pitch plus seven here we go and uh, let's upgrade him a little bit just to get his control up as well okay so we're maxed out 92 control 152 vulcan change up and we're going to jump into this game and see how things go I mean, I'm expecting big things, but I've never boosted uh, these pitches to, to this extent. So, he's coming onto the mound, right? 1.2 ERA through seven games, and oh, this is going to be a filthy pitch. Wow. Wow. Guys, if you like these challenges, be sure to go ahead and get subscribed and let me know in the comments below what other pitch you want to see. I think I've done Shudo. I've done Rising Fastball. We're doing the Vulcan change up today. A quick strikeout right off the bat. So let me know what you think uh, we should do next. But man, we'd land these in the plus 10. That's why I'm telling you the, the control was important because without control, you know, we really want to try to hit these corners. 95 mile an hour off speed pitch. That's just crazy. That is just unbelievable that you can, you know, it's supposed to be off speed, but he's throwing these. Faster than some people's fastballs. I'm not even kidding. 95 is going to top out. Now, we know on our team, right? 96.7. On our team, we have a dedicated right, fastball specialist. We have uh, whoever it is. I think it used to be Gronk who has like a 115 mile an hour fastball. But just for a normal pitcher... You know, hitting 95, 96 on just a fastball is its pretty good by itself. Not to mention trying to throw an off speed uh, with all this crazy movement clocking in at 97. Oh, it's gone. And we take a break from pitching just to show you uh, just a quick two run home run. And 443 right field. And we're going to uh, jump back to our regularly programmed schedule. Okay, so we're back on the mound, top of the second inning. Uh, we have already two strikeouts, which is pretty good. As a reminder, guys, we always try to, you know, in these challenges, try to get the win first. And then, obviously, perfect game would be would be nice, but it's it's a little bit harder to do. And then we try to, we our strikeout goal is usually 10. I'm thinking about increasing it, though. We've always been able to hit the strikeout goal, so maybe... We have to bump that up to like 12 because uh, it's just been, you know, these guys are just too good. They're way too good. That's another one. Uh, I wonder if the Sharks are going to catch on that we're only throwing a Vulcan changeup. No, Bob is going to drop it. Darvish is going to have to pick it up himself. Almost a disaster class. I don't know how he like dropped that. It was, it was just right on the ground. <laughs> Darvish is like... Well, it's my perfect game at stake, so 
I'm going to do it myself. He gets over there, covers for him, and uh, we're able to get things going. But man, would that have been spicy uh, right there with, with just a potential disaster. But we're back and we're rolling. We're rocking and rolling. That's going to be another strikeout. I almost wonder if I should just use um, the strikeout skill token where it's like there's a skill token where it's like plus three after a strikeout. Like these guys are striking so many people out. I just, I should just do that. Another one. Imagine getting plus three to all your pitches. The, um, you know, the batter after a strikeout. M Bamba's going to die for it. Oh, the, another close call. Another close call. Was he safe or was he out? He dives in a dramatic fashion and gets it over to first. But this time, I guess it goes in our favor. Usually, you know, with those calls, we don't really... We're on the receiving end of it where it's a close play and we get called out. But here on defense, we actually... Um, now we get the call at first. So another close one there. But man... We're back with the strikeouts. That's like four in a row, I think. We're up to six already, and it's only the top of the fourth. This one back. Darvish, a clean handle. That's what we love to see. Another one. And that's another one. So he struck out one, got the, you know, fielded the ball himself, and then struck out another one for, uh, what is that, like eight strikeouts now? Excuse me, seven strikeouts. And guys, I, I always want to just say, you know, this is a great way to get a sense of the... If you're new to the game, even though you might not have, you know, 152 Vulcan change up. And that's strikeout number eight. Uh, you might just have, you know, your normal fastball, curveball, slider, uh, change up, things like that. You know, you can try this either in practice mode or in a real game to just throw the same pitch over and over again so you get a sense of what it's like, the dynamics, where you want to place it, how it affects the batters. And we get him for strikeout number nine. We're going for 10 now. I think for me, I've learned a lot just doing the series. You know, I really like the rising fastball. Uh, the shooto's all right, but it's like the Vulcan changeup's an interesting one as well. Got him swinging. Got him again. Uh, 10 strikeout, so we... we Check that box. Uh, that's a dub. Um, the win. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to jinx anything, but I, I really think that we, we have this in the bag for the win this time. It's gonna go to Bomba. Clean play, third to first for the second out of the inning. Uh, if I lose this game, I would be pretty, pretty sad. The Vulcan has hasn't failed me yet. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, like, what the best placement is for this. It looks like, you know, around the corners, they really, really have a hard time trying to hit it. Okay, 0-2. Let's see if we can get him to chase one down low. He actually gets hit on a Bomba. Another diving catch. Another close one. But this one is uh, it was pretty, pretty obvious out. Uh, not as dramatic as the one we had. Oh, that one's going to catch just... Just barely the edge of the strike zone. And um, we're going to cut him again. The strikeouts just keep on piling up. How many are, are we at? 12, 12 strikeouts. A swing and a miss. I think for, for this one, it seems like they chase. They'll ch he's chased that twice in a row. Can we get... No, let's go down low. We have to go down low now. We had two up high. We're coming back down low. And he, we froze him. Uh, 13th strikeout. Another one. I mean, this guy really went at it. Three swings, three misses, and just struck out. I, I haven't kept count, but I wonder, you know, how many swing and a miss whiffs have we had this game it, it has to be a lot uh obviously as i'm talking about that bomba's really putting in the work after his uh his mishap in the first inning he oh no oh it's an air pitch go get that d -Lo. 
Yes, sir, the awareness. Easy out. And no, why are we trying to sub him out? Guys, I didn't want to mention it. We're in the ninth right. inning. You guys know, we're not going to say it out loud because it's it's bad juju. Dar oh, Bamba there again? It's bad juju to say it out loud. But you guys all know what I'm thinking. A couple outs away. Uh, 14 strikeouts right now. It's an 0-2. I, I don't want to risk anything. I'm, I'm really going to just throw it out of the strike zone and make him chase. I mean, on an 0-2, I, I, I really don't want to throw anything close. Another one. So we're just one out away. Three strikes away, guys. The Vulcan changeup might be the best pitch. I don't know. 0-2. Oh, 0-2. Oh, we're throwing something way down low. A swing and a miss. He's out. Game over. Lakers 12-0. And if I've been keeping track, folks, that's a perfect game. I think we just threw a perfect game. MVP Darvish, nine innings, no runs, given up, no hits, I think, either. No hits, no walks. Folks, it's it. That's it. That's a perfect game on a Challenge Tuesday. The Vulcan changeup. It's off the easy approved after just one game. We couldn't get it done with the rising fastball, I think. But I think in that, we only gave up, like, a hit. You know, so far, we haven't give up, given up a run. He goes the distance. 16 strikeouts is the final stat line. 76 pitches thrown. 70 for a strike. 1.04 ERA. We get the perfect game. Let's go. Let's get it. Wow. That's just incredible. Three grand extra. And uh, guys, I'm telling you, Vulcan changeups approved. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, guys, we got a perfect game. Hit subscribe. What are you doing? We'll see you in the next challenge. Let me know what pitch you want to see. Is it going to be the Vulcan change or is it going to be Palm Ball, Shudo? You know, we'll see. That's it. Peace.